Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Mark Gerdish, who's the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. Dr. Gerdish, you and I have now known each other for over 10 years. You're beloved by our community. You've successfully treated more than 100 heart valve patients at heartvalvesurgery.com. It is great to see you again at SDS. Thanks for being with me. Thanks, always a pleasure. Yeah, so Dr. Gerdish, you're giving talks here. We're seeing a lot of great presentations about new data and research about valve therapy. We're also getting questions from patients coming in from all over the world. This one comes in from Shirley and she asks, I've read that patients who get tissue valves may go on blood thinners after heart surgery. Is that true? I thought that blood thinners were only for mechanical valve replacement patients? It's a very insightful question and a very important one too. So if we look at the data, the larger data for transcatheter valves and tissue valves, approximately 30% of patients who have tissue valves of either type are anticoagulated. So meaning that not just antiplatelet agents, not just aspirin or Plavix, but are taking either warfarin or a DOAC, NOAC, these are the drugs like Eliquis, that thin your blood actively. And the reason for it is that they have other conditions that demand it. So they might develop atrial fibrillation, they might have underlying left ventricular dysfunction, they might uh, have had a thromboembolic event that requires them to be anticoagulated or a thrombosis in a vein that requires them to be anticoagulated. The other thing is, as the tissue valve fails, as the gradient goes up and a tissue valve fails, as it thickens, in theory, we're supposed to anticoagulate those people. So there's a great paper by Dr. Pibaro from several years ago that shows this diagram that fundamentally tells us that we're probably not even anticoagulating as many people as we're supposed to. People with tissue valves, people who've had other conditions that require it. Uh, it is true that for mechanical valves, you have to be on blood thinner, right? You have to be on Coumadin, and that's the only drug that we can use for that. And we just published our five-year data showing that running, we can reduce the dose dramatically, run the INR 1.5 to 2 with the onyx valve specifically, uh, yeah, but they do have to be anticoagulated and that needs to be followed. Shirley, I hope that helped you learn a whole lot about blood thinners for both tissue and mechanical valves. And Dr. Gerdish, thanks so much for everything you and your team are doing at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. Thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.